guys, it's Adam and welcome to a haul video. So this is going to be a bit of a mix, uh, mixed up haul video really. I've got mainly charity shop stuff, but I've also got one item from the car boot. And I've got a couple of items that I pulled out of my pile of shame. I was looking through it yesterday and I didn't even know I had these items in there. And I just thought, oh, they're quite interesting, so I must show them on a video. So, uh, yeah, I will show you them sort of towards the end of the video. Um, but yeah, yesterday I went to the charity shops. On Sunday I went to the car boot. I literally, I only got one item from the car boot to resell. I got one item for myself and then one item to resell. For whatever reason, that indoor car boot is so hit or miss. Like, one week you can get loads, and then the next week or a week after or whatever, uh, you know, you don't get anything. It's really, really weird, but um, that's kind of how it works. I did see, like, quite a lot of, you know, below £10 items there, and if that's kind of your thing, then go for it, but... For me, I'm not going to pick up, you know, six, seven pound items or whatever, despite me seeing a lot of them there and stuff. It just, I got out of that a long time ago and I want to, if anything, I want to expand my kind of average sale price, not decrease it back again. Because I just feel like when you, uh, you know, when you start off and you're doing like the three, four, five, six, seven pound items, whatever, that's brilliant. That gets you started. Uh, you know, you start to learn about what sells and what doesn't and you're not actually spending like loads of money so you've you've limited that risk so it's brilliant. But then as you slowly progress and you go for higher and higher value items, it kind of feels to me like if you are starting to go back into those lower value items, it's kind of like a step back for yourself. Now, if you are transitioning into a new business model like wholesale or something like that and then going back to the lower value items, that's not necessarily a step back. That's just a change of business model. Um, but if you're doing reselling in the form that most of us do reselling and you've got to that stage of doing high value items or, you know, over just even over £10 items and then you try and step back to below £10 items, it kind of does feel like you're going back on yourself. So that's why I don't generally uh, pick up those items, although I could have done. Um, but yeah, generally I only found like one decent item, but it was a decent item and I will share uh, that with you in a minute. Um, so yeah, or, yeah, so I think that's about it. I don't think I need to say any more, so I think I will just get on with the whole video now. So first off, for 10 quid, and I know that's quite a lot, um, is this uh, Fat Lava Vase, you can see on the bottom there. Um, we've got West German. I don't know how well that's coming. Oh, that's a bit better there, isn't it? West W Germany, and then we've got the numbers on there, which the latter number here, 38, is referencing the height of the piece, like I said in a whole video not long ago. Uh, and then we've got Shai Rush. Oh, I can never pronounce that, but like Shai Rush or Shai Rush or something, uh, ceramic. Um, and I think, now don't quote me on this, someone might... Uh, let me know that I'm wrong in the comments section. But I think that obviously a lot of these pots were done in different uh, sort of potters across West Germany. And I think that that Shireach or Shireach or whatever it, however you pronounce it, I don't know. But I think that that is one of the potters. So it's just like a, a certain potters that were doing these. Now, as I say, there was a lot of potters that were doing a very, very similar style um, of, you know, these sort of fat lava vases. Um, now, I think, and again, don't quote me on this, but that is one of the slightly more desirable names to get. I think there's another uh, name that you can get on the bottom of these that is a little bit more desirable than that one. Um, but I think that it, it, it makes it a little bit more more desirable, uh, desirable at least. Now, a lot of these, I've not found this exact one on Completed and Souls. I was only doing a very bit, quick bit of research just for the purposes of this video. Um, but I did see uh, one that's in this same sort of shape um, that was obviously in different colours but went for like 30 quid or something like that. Now, in the charity shop, I was only in an whether to pay £10 because that's what I was thinking it's, uh, it's worth pretty much or what I could get for it, about 30 quid. I was thinking maybe I could push £40, put my keywords in there, maybe wait a little bit and hopefully I would get the 40 and I think that is what I'm going to do um, in hindsight and with a little bit more thought into it. I think I am going to go £40 plus my Hermes shipping um, and, and yeah, just, just see if it gets picked off and if it doesn't, can always reduce a little bit but I would have liked to get it for a little bit less but you know me with fat lava, if I see it and you know it's a cool piece so I just like it generally um, and it's a decent price then uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I can't resist picking it up so yeah from £10 hopefully into 40 quid 
um, but maybe just into that £30 mark. But I would like to push uh, 40 quid since I did pay a tenner for it. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, a nice little, little piece there. So, next from the car boot, this is this uh, Crash Plush. Now, you'll probably be able to see on here he's got some uh, marks on his teeth. He's got marks on his eyes. He's got little bits of um, thread coming off his um, shorts here. And he's got, I think, a little bit of thread and stuff coming off. Uh, I think it's around here, yeah. He's got a little bit of thread coming off there. I don't think you're going to see that very well. Obviously, the little bits of thread, uh, what I'm probably going to do is just cut them off and tidy them up a little bit. Um, obviously, he's got a little bit of dirt on his uh, shoes there as well. So I'm just basically going to tidy him up the best I can. Um, and hopefully, it'll look a lot better than this. Um, if I can't get all the dirt off or anything, then I'm just going to settle for however much I can get off. And then, obviously, Describe uh, describe it as such in the in the description. Um, now these are pretty good. I actually paid four pound, um, and yeah, I I don't know how. I came about to know these were good. I think it was on Facebook or something. Someone did a post and said, I picked up this Crash Plush. Now, this is the larger version, so it's even better still, really. Um, and, yeah, I think one of these has gone for, like, 30 or 40 quid, something crazy like that. One's gone for uh, 19 99 on auction, plus, like, 15 quid postage. So, again, pretty much 30 quid with postage, um, you know, including postage. So, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I think one's on for, like, 30 odd and and another one's on for like 20 odd as well um so it depends on how much dirt and stuff i can get off and how well i can clean him up but if i can really clean him up well then i'm gonna go pretty high i'm gonna go like 35 40 quid on this and just wait if i can't clean him up that much then obviously uh, i'm gonna bring the price down a little bit because i don't feel like i could charge top whack if he's not in the best of condition um so maybe if i can't clean him up that well i'll maybe go 30 something like that maybe 25 or 30 quid um but i, I wouldn't really like to go less than 30 quid on this um but yeah from four pound to hopefully 30 or maybe even a little bit more than that if i can clean him up right then yeah i'm really really happy with that one uh, i don't know whether you know i don't think i did actually um show you this little tag down here um he is an official crash bandicoot one he's got someone's name written on there i'm guessing that's the name of the person i bought it off because the person i bought it off I don't think he was too much older than me, maybe late 20s or something like that. And I would imagine this probably would have been his. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah, four quid into hopefully 30 or maybe a bit more. More than happy with that one. So, next we've got this Friends box set. The one with all 10 seasons. You can see there I paid... Oh, the light's gone terrible. I don't know whether you are going to see that there very well. don't know why the light's gone that terrible. But it does say £5 on that little... I think what I'll do is try and peel this off and uh, show you that way see if i can properly show you i don't know no it's not gonna show you can probably just about make it out there five pound um but yeah so i paid five pound for this i did just take a punt on it because i was thinking five quid's probably uh doable for this I, I reckon it's probably 20 quid i was thinking to myself uh now there is if i go in here ooh, if i go in here uh there is some uh you know rips to a couple of the box sets but the other ones seem in pretty good condition um so yeah i've seen these kind of, oh just got a sale there some dot two figures 12.99 plus postage Oh, no, 12 99 free postage. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm doing a haul video and get a sale. That's pretty cool. I've had that before, actually. Um, but, yeah, so, um, yeah, mainly we go for about 20 quid plus postage, uh, sometimes £25 plus postage. Um, I'll probably go 25 and shoot for that and then, obviously, come down if I need to come down, but I may as well shoot for it. Um, so yeah, five pound into hopefully twenty five, but maybe if I have to come down, maybe twenty. I'm still fairly happy with that. Um, so it was worth picking up at least. So yeah, that's that one there, friends box set. Oh, I don't know whether I showed you this hat or not, but I'll show it you again anyway. Um, so yeah, basically this is this um, Larry Mahan, Larry Mahan's collection. Yeah, I don't think I did show you this hat. Did I? I'm getting mixed up now with because I've got stuff all around. And I'm getting completely mixed up with what I've showed you and what I'm not sure. Oh, God, this is terrible. Anyway, um, so this is Made in Texas, this hat. Um, don't know. It's probably not going to come out that well. It's very hard to actually show you that in that whim there. But it says Larry Mahan hat collection, Made in Texas, USA. And then it has on the other side... 
Western warehouse, so I'm assuming that they've made part of this hat as well. And then in the middle there, it's just got like a, a sort of like a stitched in or sewn in leather patch there that basically just says the same like Larry Mahan's collection by Milano Hat Company. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. 58 centimeter hat in there, which is like medium. It's actually my size, so. We may as well put it on. So, uh, yeah, that's this one here. I don't know whether it's maybe a little bit slightly too up here, whether it's got a little bit too creased up here. Obviously, I know that that's how the hat is meant to be shaped, but it does look maybe it's just a little bit too far up there. I don't know whether it's coming out on camera that well. Um, but, yeah, so this is made in Texas. So, as you would imagine, when I was doing a very quick bit of research, I couldn't actually find uh, one of these on Completed and Sold in the UK. However, there was one that had sold in the US for the equivalent, I think it was the equivalent of about 30 quid, maybe 32 quid, something like that, plus the postage on top of that. So, you know, I mean, since there's not going to be any or very much competition at all on this, um, I can kind of choose a price within reason. So, uh, you know, I might go for 40 on this or I might go for 30 as in line with the, the US price, but I don't think I'm going to be charging much more than 40 if I do and, and just wait it out really. Use plenty of keywords on this item. Do some really nice photos. It's a quality hat, and I'm sure someone's going to pick it off at some point. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going to go with that. And, oh, also, I didn't show you the price. I actually uh, took the sticker off, the label off a while ago. Um, but, yeah, this was £3 from, what's that, St. Luke's or something. So, yeah, from £3 into minimum, I would say, 30 quid on this. I'm more than happy. Um, so, yeah, very nice hat. Obviously, a lot of you will be thinking, I'm sure you attempted to keep that, and you would be right in thinking that. I was very, very tempted to keep this one. It's got this cool design around it. I don't I didn't actually show you that did I but there's this really cool design around it there. It's kind of this red colour in it. Yeah just really cool. Um so I was very tempting keeping it but I thought no when I was picking it up I was determined that I was picking it up to resell it so I'm gonna resell it, you know, and that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and from three pound I could have happily kept it, you know, that's fine but um you know it's kind of like you know if it's worth 30 quid you know, like maybe if this was worth like 12 to 15 pound I would keep it but because it's worth like 30 quid or maybe even a bit more I'm like yeah I probably should sell it to be honest so yeah that's that one anyway so pretty uh cool looking item that one so next I paid a fair bit for this I paid 20 pound for this brand new and sealed um it's a phone stabilizer actually no more shaky videos um I'm actually getting one of these for my birthday not this one it's a little bit of a better version of one I'm getting for my birthday I think this I don't know whether this is electronic or not, it probably is electronic, but um, the one I'm getting is going to be really cool and it means basically when I'm doing my vlogs um, in future, once I've obviously got it all set up and all the rest of it and calibrated it or whatever you have to do with it, um, it's called a gimbal by the way, um, but when I get it, it means that when I'm doing my b-roll for my, blog, my vlogs and b-roll, if you don't know, it's just like, you know, a little bit, it's like, like the transitional shots or the shots on the road and things like that, you know, when I'm in the car and even just when I'm walking around like say I'm walking around a car boot um, what it'll do is stabilize my phone in one position so there'll be no more of that like shaking or you know moving around really quickly or anything so that should be really good for you guys actually when you when you're watching the vlogs and it'll just enhance the quality slightly a little bit but I'm not gonna actually I was thinking when I saw it oh I might keep this one and just not not buy the other one but to be honest I don't think this is completely the one I would like I'd rather get the one I want so um yeah so 20 pounds for this brand new and sealed now there is no on on the well sorry no there is two on sorry that are uh, brand new and sealed for like 40 quid plus postage but they've not got a specific individual photo of the item brand new and sealed it's like a a listing with stock photos and stuff and what i've always found with these stock photo listings is that you can shoot if you have a fo a few photos a few good photos of the actual item that's brand new and sealed some people actually prefer that and they go for yours even though yours is priced a little bit higher so i might you know, it might not have been the best pickup this one, or it might turn out to be a decent pickup. What I'm going to try and do is charge about forty nine ninety nine, or maybe even fifty nine ninety nine. But I'll probably be free postage. Uh, you know, if I go forty nine ninety nine, I'll probably add postage on it. If I go fifty nine ninety nine, I'll do free postage, something like that. 
and I'll see on this one, hopefully it'll get picked off because I'll be doing photos of the actual item opposed to the stock photos. And then someone comes along who doesn't like the stock photos or doesn't like to buy off stock photos uh, will hopefully go for mine even though it's a little bit higher. Now obviously those ones that are on are on for £40 plus like 7 quid postage so they're already coming in at 47 anyway so that's going to be the minimum I can get. Um, but from, from a £20 investment I'd like a little bit more than that if I could. Um, so yeah I'd kind of took a punt on this one um even though it was quite a high price to take a punt at um and yeah we'll see on that it might sit for a while um but hopefully i can get a decent price for it and get some do get some good profit out of it um but yeah that's that one again jumping outside my comfort zone a little bit more with this one because i mean it's not too bad because it's brand new and sealed so you know it's not like i need to test anything or anything like that but um still pretty cool item and uh, we'll see on that one so, next of a couple of items from my pile of shame. So, um, yeah, these are really odd. Uh, so, it says on here, greetings, oh, the light's gone a bit funny again. Greetings, Christmas, and Happy New Year or something, and the New Year. Greetings for Christmas and the New Year. And it has in here, um, I'm assuming this is a watercolour, um, on this nice little bit of card, actually. It's on this uh, really thick piece of card. Um, and it's just plain, it looks pretty cool, nice, nicely done. I don't know who it's by, Margit, 19th, Margit, Margot, Margit, I don't know. But the, let's the, just see if I can zoom that in a bit more. Margit or Margat or something, I don't know, 1960 anyway. And I thought this looks really cool. Now, I don't know the value of this. It, it could just be very, very standard, like 10, 15 pound, or it could be worth something decent. You know, it could be worth more than that. It could be like 30 or 40 quid or something like that. Again, like, I suppose it depends on the, on the artist and stuff. Uh, now, I couldn't find any of these, as you would expect, on Complete and Solds. It's kind of uh, a little bit more of a, not necessarily a rare piece, but just something that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find on Complete and Solds. Um, so, yeah, hence why I didn't. But, um, yeah, so that's that one there. And it's just, I just thought it's interesting. I thought I'd share it with you. Um, I don't know what I'm going to go on price, as I mentioned. I mean, it might even be way more than that if it's, like, a decent artist or something. But um, I just wanted to at least show you uh, a couple of these because they're pretty cool. Um, and I must have got these in a job lot from the auction ages ago and they've just been sat in my pile of shame for ages and ages and ages. And as I say, I didn't even realise I had them. So that's pretty um, pretty interesting to, to find something in your pile of shame that you didn't genuinely even know was there. And I mean, it does happen for quite a lot of us on occasion because we just put things in our pile of shame and and then just kind of forget they're there or, or don't even really look at the things properly uh, when we even put them in there. And then we've got another one here from the same artist. It's got this little ship and then this man uh, waving goodbye to the ship. Um, which again, it's quite a nice one. It's quite well done. I don't know how well you're picking that up there. Um, but yeah, it, it's quite nice and it, it is quite well done. So, um, I mean, maybe a bundle of the two might be, you know, if they're not worth that much money or whatever, maybe a bundle in the two up might be an idea. But um, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's a shame that I've not got a proper frame with them. I, I don't know whether that would hinder the value or not really. But uh, yeah, so that's those two. I did just want to... Uh, quickly touch on those two and then I've just got uh, a few more books to show you some Enid Blyton books and then we will finish. So I paid £5 in a charity shop for a large amount of Enid Blyton books as well. I say large amount, you know, I've had bigger book bundles but there's probably like 30 books or something like that, about about 30 books. Um, and I've kind of done a little bit of organisation, I've done a little bit of research on Complete and Solds. Um, so I've got some roundabout, a, a little bit of a, uh, roundabout knowledge on these. Um, but yeah, so essentially we've got a few, I've had these before, we've got uh, Enid Blyton, uh, the twins at St. Clair's, or basically just St. Clair's. Um, oh, and then this is Mallory Towers actually, so that one isn't even in there. So we've got three books of them, so I can't really do a bundle with them. So uh, I don't know whether I'm going to wait to get some more of those St. Clair's ones or... Um, or maybe just bundle them up with, with some of the other books that are here. But we've got those there. Um, I'd say I'm not going to say prices on those ones because I don't know. Uh, because, as I say, there's not enough to actually sell as a bundle. I wouldn't imagine. I would imagine I'd need a few a couple more books or something there to even get like a standard range of £10. Um, so, yeah, there's those ones there. I've got these ones here, which basically I've just put all this same cover together. So these similar covers... Uh, because I'm assuming that this is a particular range um, of, of books, obviously. Um, so, yeah, basically... Oh, I think it's all mystery books, actually. 
Uh, there's probably a, a specific name to this range of books, but uh, these are all like Enid Blight and Mystery books. I don't think, again, with those ones, I'll probably have enough for a bundle because there's only six of them there again. But I thought I'd separate them out and see what I've got um, and see what I can do with them. Um, but we'll see on those ones. They are a bit... They're a bit tatty and stuff, those ones. But if you could get, like, a good stack of these, I'm sure you could get some half-decent money for them. Maybe for a little stack of these, you might be able to get 15, 20 quid, something like that. But I've not done any specific research on this style. I've done some more, uh, more research on the Famous Five and the others. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm not too sure on those ones. But if you get, like, a better set, I'm sure there's going to be some decent money in them for you. So, yeah, that's those ones there. Um, and then I've got... A large selection of these famous five ones. Now, the problem with these is they're all from different, like, um, they're all different covers. And I think the covers, from what I was doing a bit of research, yeah, oh, that's Secret 7. Um, for, from what I can see on Complete and Sold, the different covers uh, represent, like, a different... Not a different line of... Well, yeah, I suppose a different line of books, but just, like, a different edition, let's say, of books. Like, the covers represent a different edition. So, you've got these ones with this Famous Five logo up here. Um, and then you've got, like, again, you've got these ones with the Famous Five logo up here. And I've got a few of these, um, but I've not got enough for a bundle. And I was like, if I could get a bundle with, with the ones with all the same covers, that would be better money because... I think it was these ones, this specific cover uh, line, that if you get, like, I believe there's 21 books or something like that, if you get all the books, I've seen one go, like, a bundle of them go for, like, 30, 40 quid just for them. So that's pretty awesome. And then you've got these books here, which I'm, I'm assuming these are a slightly newer edition, a uh, newer cover, obviously, of these books here. Um, and then, yeah, got a few more of those ones. And then we've got a few of these edition which again are a different cover still. So I've obviously like reproduced these books numerous times over the years uh, because obviously they're very popular books. Um, we've got that one there. Oh, I know, no, the bundle that I saw, there was a bundle I saw that went for 39 99 and it was the full set of 21 of these Famous Five Now On TV books. So if you can actually uh, pick up the full set of the Famous Five with this little Now On TV um, on, on the actual cover there, you can get some really decent money. So, you know, you pay for the 21 books, like you could even pay like six, seven, eight quid or whatever for the 21 books, and you could flip them into like 30, 40 quid. So uh, yeah, so if you get the full set of them, uh, definitely be looking out for those, you know, and, and obviously you can pay up a little bit for that set. Um, and then we've got some more of this cover here, the Famous Five with the, with the little logo up here. Um, so yeah, I've kind of not got a bundle of any of the same cover, which is really annoying. So what I'm thinking of doing, because I don't get these often, I don't really see them that often. Well, maybe I see them, but I don't really buy them that often or anything. Um, so what I'm thinking of do, doing is just job lotting them. If there's any duplicates in there, I will remove the duplicates, obviously. Um, and then just bundle them all together. I don't think there is any duplicates in there, but I've not gone through them intensely or anything. Um, so there's, I believe, there's 16 books that I've got here. Well, actually, maybe 15 now, because I didn't realise there was a, a Secret 7 one hiding in there. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking that a pound a book is more than achievable, looking at completing and sold. There's one set of, like, 13 that is... I think, again, that's a little bit of a mishmash of different covers or different lines of books, different, uh, you know, publication dates or whatever. Um, and that went for, like, 12 quid plus postage or something for, like, 13 bucks. So I'm thinking on a 15, maybe £15 pound plus postage. And then that obviously gets my money out of them. That gets my £5 out of them. And then I've got another stack of books here that are just random Enid Blyton ones. There's even one book that isn't an Enid Blyton one in there, so I'll have to pull that out. Um, and then that one will be my profit. And then if I can try and... Maybe I can source a couple more of those mystery books or something at the car boot. If I can buy them for 10 or 20p, I can maybe make up a bundle and get a little bit more out of this bundle uh, still. Um, but yeah, it would have been... It's a shame that I've not got, like, more, um, you know, like, sort of uh, more of the same cover of the Famous Five ones, because then they may go for a bit more money. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how it goes. I thought for a fiver for all them books, I'm not going to say no. So that's those Famous Five ones there. And then I've got a load of other just general, like, Enid Blyton ones, various different stories. Um, we've got, like, adventure stories there, Enid Blyton. We've got Secret of Spiggy Holes or something. Um, we've got 
uh, the family at Red Roofs, those dreadful children. So loads of different ones. We've got a couple of hardbacks in here as well. The Willow Farm, um, the mystery that never was, all these different ones. Um, so yeah, just loads of these. I think there's probably... Again, probably about 15, 16, 17 bucks, something like that here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe after research a couple of these individually just to see if any of these are worth doing individually. Maybe that one is because it looks like a even more vintage one, that one. Adventure Stories, Enid Blyton. Uh, there, Collins at the, at the bottom there. I don't think any of them will be worth doing individually, but it might be worth just, just uh, sort of... We're searching a couple just to see if they are. Um, but yeah, on these ones, I should be able to do on a bundle like that, maybe 15, 20 quid. Um, I will have to do a bit more research on, as I say, on a few of these different books. But I should, I, I can't see them being any less than that. So um, yeah, that's pretty decent there. So hopefully, between if I can get 20 quid out of this bundle, plus the £15 plus postage out of the Famous Five ones, I basically got like, tw uh, sorry, like 30 or 35 quid, something like that. Um, out of uh, you know a five pound investment there and then I've got a few other books left over for if I ever accumulate some more Enid Blyton books they can uh, go for part of those bundles as well so yeah pretty decent on that I've not had uh, children's books in a long time actually I've not I've not actually sold like um, you know well, I mean, I've, I've got the stock that I've got, obviously, are listed, but I've not actually listed any new ones in ages and ages and ages. Um, I think I got a, a book job lot from the auction a while ago that um, I ended up listing a few children's books out of. But, yeah, generally, I don't pick up that many. Um, the only other thing I pick up in the way of children's stuff is, like, annuals and stuff like that and... Um, not not what what else do I pick up? Not not necessarily an yeah annuals, but uh, something else I was gonna say I don't know. But I pick up some other form of children's books as well, uh, like comics and stuff like that. But I've not actually had the proper like children's books, like you know any of like the Rainbow Magic or the uh, Jacqueline Wilson or whatever else goes for money now. I don't think Jacqueline Wilson will go for money anymore. But uh, yeah, I've not really had many of those. So it'd be nice to uh, put a few bundles of uh, these uh, Enid Blyton ones on. Um, but yeah, I will leave it there, guys. I've rambled for long enough today. I'm going to have to try and do some clever cutting and shorten this down a little bit because I'm sure I've rambled so much in this video. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, as always. If you did like the video, then please do give it a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to check out any of the links in the description, you can do so. There's, I've also put in my description a few links to a couple of playlists, you know, popular playlists on the channel. So so, you know, if you, for example, if you like the car boot and charity shop hunting videos, I've got a playlist in the description, but you can literally just click that and it goes straight over to the playlist and you can watch as many of the car boot hunting videos as you want over there. And I've got all sorts of new bits and bobs in the description because I've just had a, a little bit of a work around again, just a little bit of play around with my description because it was getting... Well, it was kind of getting too cluttered up, um, but then I've ended up adding more to it. So now it's just more cluttered up, which is just annoying. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next one.